Hello everyone, I am IA Roadkill, and it has been a while since I have made a recording. I have found a game that I am interested in, Gold Hunter. It's been released in Alpha, and I'm playing it. So let's get into it. So I'm not sure why they drop you off in the forest here, but... This is Gold Hunter, and this is the store as it is in version 0.5741 Alpha. I'm finding this game to be really fun, so I thought I would share with everyone what I have come up with. I'm going to jump right in and start buying things. going to start and we have different size bottles they hold different amounts of gold each nugget that you get takes up a slot I'll call it this little jar has room for 10 nuggets I believe the medium bottle has room for 24 slots, and I have yet to get the large bottle, but I'm guessing it's going to be 50. So to start with here, I'm going to, well, let's, let's do the test. We'll get one of each. Why not? We're just going to show off everything that we can do and what it takes to do it. Uh, there is a trolley out front, a cart. It is very glitchy and things go flying. So we're just going to run things back and forth. All right, I've got all three of those. And you can buy bigger boxes, box sets. I want a metal tub. Now, from what I was figuring out, you don't need a metal tub. So we're going to try and do it without it. But you got to have a gold pan. And I'm sorry, I didn't tell you what I'm doing. I'm bringing it over to the sale area. This is my basket right now. I have $52.50 here worth of stuff. And so if you're playing multiplayer, your friend can be checking out over here. Or if you have too many things to put in one spot, you can put things in both spots. Here, let me show you. Come on, pick up. And for the devs that might be watching, I do not like to hold a button, a key. I should just click it to pick something up instead of holding. That is very annoying. So now it shows that I have a basket over here and I have a basket over there. But I don't want to have two baskets because then I'll have two checkout invoices, I believe. So I don't want to mess that up. Let's see. So, did I get a bucket? No, I need a bucket. And I'll probably want more than one, but we're going to start with one. So that's everything I need on that side. If you come over here, I have, yet, I have not yet played with the drones. There's a small and a large. But I need a shovel. And these are pretty slick. They just stand right there, balanced. Aren't I talented? And I have figured out how to put a helmet on, but it's not really needed, so I'm going to stay away from that. I haven't figured out the metal detector yet. We'll go into that later. I can equip it, but I have yet to make it find anything, so... These are the mats. Sorry about the quick jumping around. Three different wash plant sets. You have your 
high banker, which is the small starter. You have your wash plant. I call it a mini wash plant. And then you have the big wash plant. And these boxes over here are sets for each one of those. Now being a gold miner myself in real life, each one of these mats is different. And let's lay them out here for you. Oh, it, it's not going to let me, is it? All right, well, let's see. This is the Miner's Moss Small. So I need... Let's roll that up. Nope, let's not roll it up. That's roll it up. Okay. I need a small one and a large one. Okay, they're calling it normal because the large one is for the big wash plant. So I need one of these. Very annoying that you have to hold that key. Need a small, heavy black. And if anybody out there is a gold prospector, miner, runs their own sluice box, will agree with me and know what I'm talking about. Maybe they won't agree with me. Maybe I'm going to make a mistake, but it's fairly close. And a big one of that. So I've got three smalls, three larges, and that's the set. One, two, three, one, two, three, yeah. And we're going to buy, to start out with, the high banker. We could afford to go to the mini wash plant but or the portable wash plant but I'm not going to I believe the devs when they started had to start with 2500 not 25000 and the 2500 would make you start at the high banker and you would not be able to go to the wash plant because if we go to the map you can see on the yeah, my, hopefully you can see my cursor. The store on the left has a black line through it. I believe that's going to be the permanent store in the future. They built a temporary store to the right just for us to test things with. And that's where we're at right now. I'm not sure what the blue triangles are for, but I'm the white triangle. see it moving and if I back out these are the different claims that they have functioning there is water here and here maybe I don't remember which one it was I lost control of one of my cars and I ended up inside of one of these rivers. Maybe it's this, but I think this is a dry riverbed. But it looks like they have plenty of room for expansion. They have many other claims that are ready to be built. So that's, that's a good sign. And it looks like we're in the narrow can't scroll it anymore 
but it looks like this is outside boundary. This is outside boundary, but it could go higher and lower. So that's exciting. Anyway, back to the $2,500 that you would start with. I believe if you started with that, you would not be able to afford a truck as well, and you would have to walk your things from the store over to the free area to start your mining, and I'll show that to you in a little bit. Then you can get enough money, you can buy a truck, and then you can haul your things, and you can go out and buy different claims. And I put a target there by accident, and you put a target by right-clicking on the map, and then you'll see that dot somewhere. There it is right there. And you know that's the direction you need to go. But, and now it's not there anymore. But it is still there. Well, that's kind of a glitch. It's gone off the map. But if there is a dot on the map, to get rid of it, click on it again and that'll remove it. No dots. All right, so we are, uh, let's see, we have the minimum we need, three mats, the high banker, shovel, that is all we need, but I am going to spend a little bit more money because we have it. I am going to buy a smelting furnace. I have made this work. And you need a crucible. And we'll get a scale. The only thing I'm going to buy right now are things that I know how to work and know how to work them. And we need a mold. There we go. Gold bars aren't very big. And because there are thieves, we need a safe. It's heavy. I can't run. No, I can't. I was just joking. All right. That is... I like this. You can just look. $5,000 worth. So we have 2000 or 20000 left. See, I wouldn't be able to buy this stuff over here when I first started if they lower the money value down. All right. We also need... Oops, might as well pay for this while I'm here. We'll go talk to the nice young lady at the counter here. Hi, hon. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Gold pan, metal tub, bottle, bottle, bottle. Bucket, shovel, small, normal, small, normal, scroll, small, normal, high banker, smelting furnace, melting crucible, weighing scale, mold, and a safe. Cha-ching! All right. Now the big store police won't bother me. You don't click on these doors to open and close them. You just run through them. And they open up. Now we have our choice of vehicles out here. You have a long bed. I think it's a long bed. Yeah, long bed, single. A long bed, dual door. Quad cab, I guess they call that. They call this. They call this a side-by-side. -side? I call it a wreck waiting to happen. I have not purchased one of these yet and tried one. Looks to me like you could get really fast and airborne with it. But I'm actually running around it looking for where you would put gas. 
and I do not see any place. And I have purchased the buggy before. But the same thing with the buggy as with the side-by-side. -side. No place for gas. Is that it right there? That might be the gas hole right there. I'll, we'll have to try that later. Anyway, buggy is 6499 The side-by-side, -side, let's see what they call it. They call it buggy two. All right, 8,000. Quad cab is 20 grand. And the standard is 10. So I'm going to buy the standard. And it kind of sets down there. Now to open the door, you hold the mouse button, the left mouse button. Then you click on the seat with your EF. Those are your actuator keys, E's and F's. Now to start the engine is P and to go forward W. Now I like to be in third person so I change the camera with C and yes I have picked the female body And the doors should open before you get to them, not after you hit them. I'm sorry. Please fix that, devs. And get a new sound for your truck. Oop, sorry. Maybe I'll buy that snowmobile later when you get snow in the game. Wait, wait, wait. Back up. And emergency brake to stop. P to shut it off. E to get out. So I parked the truck over here because it's close and we're going to start loading up now I have changed the mapping on my keys you can see that it says F when I'm holding my key to pick up or drop down I'm actually doing it with the E key and the reason is that I'm used to doing everything with my E key not the F it's too far away from my short fat fingers but please devs get rid of the hold the button to pick up and drop it is very annoying some things you have are click to work instead of hold please make them all click the one that I could see uh, that you make to hold is if you're going to pick up a piece of equipment rather than picking up, a, if you're going to pick up a mat, say, then it should be hold if you're going to pick it up off of a sluice because you don't want to pick up the sluice box. And you saw me walk by this question mark. If you stand on it, so that it doesn't bob in your picture. It'll tell you that this is the basket area you can place. I kind of went through everything on that for you already. I'm not going to put any of that in my truck yet. I am going to show you how to load into your hot bar. So I'm going to click the number one, which puts those highlights on it. And then I'm going to click F, which would be E for you people. Or maybe not. Anyway, it highlighted it. It showed up in my number one position, and you can see it's in my hands. To get rid of it, you click one again, and it's unhighlighted. Okay? So I don't want to do that. I'm going to put my big jar in number five, my medium jar in number four. And 
my little jar in, oops, in number three. I'm going to leave two open. Now, if I had a flashlight, I would put that there, or the metal detector, I would put that in position two. Normally, you probably wouldn't have three jars at a time, but I'm going to leave them that way. And you can't pick things up when you have something highlighted. So you just have to click it again to unhighlight it. Now I can pick up my bucket. And you cannot place things inside of other things or when you pick it, whoops. Or when you pick it up, it will go flying all over the room. So you can try that if you want. I'm hoping that my truck does not glitch out. If you get too many things in your truck, you're in trouble. So we're going to come back for all of that. The safe and the gold bar stuff. This is what you need to get started. And right there. That bucket may cause a problem because it's trying to go into the truck. So we'll put it over here. That looks better. All right, let's get back in the truck. I don't know if you can hear that squeaking noise, but that is my neighbor trying to get his boat left up and down. All right, I like that camera angle better. Okay, P to start the engine, space bar, take off the emergency brake. WASD, the normal walking, driving keys. And you have to be right at the door before it opens, so I just give it a little love tap. And devs, you need to get a new sound for your truck because it sounds like I'm in a race car. Okay? This is not a race car. There's a gentleman in the concrete building over here. He will buy your gold once you find it. And I believe we're going to start at zero because it's the free spot. I do have a favorite spot of mine, which is claim number four. Now you can also notice in the bottom left corner of my screen, there is a green number one, or a circle, green circle with a one in it. It started to highlight. I'm not exactly sure what I did to make that happen. I'm going to have to go back and watch the video myself. But I believe that's an experience bar. And what is that going to do in the future? I don't know. Below that, you can see that there is a glass. I'm sure we're going to need to drink water to survive and a food symbol below that. I think we're going to have a real experience here. Now, I hope this reaches. Oh, back up here. You only start the game with, in the bottom right corner, uh, I have 13 gallons of fuel. So, I'm going to get some more fuel because in one of my trial runs, I ran out of fuel and you can't really do anything. So, E or F if you don't rebind it. Oh, and I'm going to drop it right here because I forgot to open my gas cap. There we go. And I did that with my left mouse button, E to pick the nozzle back up again. Now I'm going to click right here below the nozzle hole. It's like the target's off. Oops, I'm going to use E. There. Actually, it was right on that time. So, so we're going to get some fuel. It holds 80 gallons. We have 19, so I'm going to get 60 gallons. So I'll probably fast forward through this or... Just edit it out. There we go. And I hope you don't hear my neighbor running the weed whipper. 
All right, and let's see, E to take the nozzle out, and that is a glitch, and I hope the devs get that one fixed right away. The nozzle stays in there, but it doesn't. And you come over here, and I would click on that bottom piece to put the nozzle away, or this, but neither one of them does it. I'm clicking, I'm clicking. So the hot hit point is down here. Devs, you got to move that up. All right, let's see here. And yeah, the nozzle's still hanging out. I'm going to right click to close the gas door. So that's the gas station. Not sure what the gas station's called. Doesn't have a name, but it's got kind of a mean monkey there. I don't know. And you click E on the seat, and the door shuts automatically. P to start it up. Space bar for the brake. C to change my camera. And W to sound like I'm in a race car taking off. We are headed to claim zero, as you can see in the upper right corner. And here's actually markers, which I've never noticed before. So playing multiplayer, evidently you can name your claims. And then people can find you. If you're playing competition or something, that would be that would be quite fun. Anyway, claim zero is this way. Right there's the signpost for us, beginner's claim. So everybody would start here. Just because just because. And we're gonna park the truck right here. That's close enough. P to shut it off or you'll waste your gas. I always set the emergency brake with the spacebar, and my hotkey is E to get out. All right, let's grab the fun item first. And I always raise it quick because it makes the truck go crazy if you touch it. And by the way, I have my settings on maximum. Let me drop that and I will show you. Stand here in the very dark shadow. Hit your escape key. It will give you uh, all of the options. If I go to graphics, oh, I started a new one and it went back to custom. Epic. Apply. Okay, so I wasn't on Epic, but I am now. And I'm going to hit Escape to get out of this. Let me show you my controls first off. I did change E and F. I changed these around. Yours will say F up here and E down here. That's just my personal preference. Everything else is the same. And if you mess it up and you can't get figured out what you did, hit default and everything will go back to the way it was. All right, so we are running on maximum settings on everything. Looks pretty nice. I lied to you. One other thing that I changed, gameplay. Oh, my neighbor is trying to weed whip the world, I think. Camera shaking, I have disabled. If you have it enabled, when you walk, it jerks forward and backward, and it was making me sick. So I disable that. And now it's smooth. You just walk like you normally would. I mean, it's neat the devs made that, but it's, uh, no, don't do it. 
It does get rid of the graphic when you're shoveling dirt, which you'll see in a minute. I'll show it to you, but don't do it. All right, let's unpack. Let's get this out here and sun more. I'm going to bring it over here to this low spot. And I dropped it. And now I'm going to unpack it. And it glitches and rocks and rolls all over the place. I hope they work on that. I'm going to try and pick it up and free it. Okay. You hold your right mouse button. And then you can rotate the unit by spinning your mouse around. So get it fairly level how you want it and then you can set it wherever I'm gonna find a low spot to set it yet. over here and I'm going to dig in the high spot makes sense makes sense to me anyway hold E to drop it or F if you're haven't changed it and then to lock it in place because you could knock it over by running into it hit F to freeze it and then you can walk on it I mean it's it's locked in place all right where's my truck oh, I probably should put it closer I'm gonna fast forward through this I'm gonna get all my mats over there and then I'll be back okay now the reason that I bought three different types of mats and I'm going to show that to you right now, is they are made different in a gold sluice. Your first mat, well, let me put them in here first. I'm using the hold key to pick them up, and I'm setting them in the certain center. It doesn't highlight anything. You can see there's nothing being highlighted, but I know it's going to go about in the middle, and I click, and it just drops in. Okay, because I own a sluice box and know what they're doing, I'm going to hit F to unroll this. Your first mat has lines, ribs. It will catch your bigger flakes in the grooves as it comes down. The second mat is a dot mat. It has raised see if you can see it on this it has raised dots and the water going over the top is going faster than the water between the dots so the gold will drop in there everything else will wash away I know there's a name for that and it escapes me the third mat has fallen through the board because I clicked on it the third mat is miner's moss, and that is uh, like a pile loop rug. It's carpet almost. Some of it can be plastic, but it's little squiggly circles that can tangle up and catch gold. So normally you don't have two sets like this. I'm used to having a high banker and one setup I don't have the extension so maybe if I was running this setup I might run two blacks here then I would run two blues here and here and then two greens here and here maybe that's the way I should have purchased it we can do that again later anyway that is your sluice box setup high banker is what it's called here because it's made to go away from the lake or the river because the devs don't have your water hooked up yet, that standpipe does work, but they don't have any plumbing pipes, hoses to work. So all you have to do is highlight your pipe, hit E, and that turns it on. All right, so let's go to the shovel, which is one going to highlight or click one that brings up my shovel now I want to aim for this area there's a shovel clear up here but anything that's highlighted on this top box is legitimate for you to click on 
everything except this white piece. Okay, so I'm going to swing over here. This is where I'm going to dig. We'll dig up. Whoop, let's uh, see the lay of the land. Because we're going to make a hole. I'm going to dig right here. I'm going to left click with the mouse. It didn't do anything with the shovel, but the shovel magically acquired some gravel. Now I'm going to aim at the pan, and I'm going to right click. And of course the game saved, glitched me, and put me there. Now I'm going to... And you've lost my shovel. Where is my shovel? My shovel's changed positions. Anyway, I'm going to click on the bottom of the pan here with the right mouse button. It plops it in, goes away, the water turns dark, the water turns clear, and you can see I have 0.5% full. It will take 200 shovels to fill these mats. So, again, left click, right click, left click, right click. And you can look down at my hot bar and see that every time I pick up gold or gold bearing dirt, it turns orange. And you can get a pretty good rhythm and shovel pretty fast to fill this up. You don't have to wait for the animation. And this little gold vial up here, they call it a funnel. When you put dirt in, that fills up. Whoops, missed. Come on, give me a shovel full. What are you doing? There we go. When I click and put the dirt in, watch that vial up here. And now it's gone, and that's when you can put more in it. You can rush it and force dirt in from time to time. But see there, it wouldn't let me until it was clear. So that's all you do. Oops, I didn't get anything. So that's annoying. I don't know how much I've lost. I'll have to figure it out later. But my mouse was going into my microphone bar and muting myself. So I'm going to have to overlay some words here. Okay, so let's turn on camera shaking and I will show you the animation if you have that on is him shoveling but it doesn't do anything when you put it away. Now I don't mind that so much but it's that little hippity hop at the end that I don't like. I do like the animation of the shovel coming down picking up dirt. So devs, can you get rid of the head bob up and down but save the shoveling. That's my request. Alright, let's turn that off because, like I said, it makes me sick. And now we just have the shovel in our hand that we can't see at the moment. And we're just watching the circle down below to see that we've picked up dirt. And you can see the ground detents or goes in every time you take a shovel full. But you can get into a rhythm and not watch either one of them. And you can get some pretty fast paced digging. If they had a leaderboard on this, this is a trick that you would want to use. So, let it be known that Roadkill shared it with you, okay? And maybe that's making you sick 
watching me spin the mouse back and forth and I am going too fast because it's not getting rid of the dirt every time. Yeah. Sometimes it'll let you sneak one in there. Other times you have to wait. Oh, and I'm glad it did it. Sometimes you get the random shovel where it puts it in the top box which is the animation that we didn't see before. We only saw it digging, not putting it in the box. So, another glitch. Sometimes that just randomly happens. All right, I'm gonna work on this for a while. I'm already at, where the, what's it say here? Can't hardly read it, 25%. I'm gonna keep shoveling. And if you watch on the left side, it says, funnel's already filled, wait. All right. And it'll try and tell you with warnings if you're doing something wrong. See? I'm in a hole. We did dug that little hole right there. So I'm going to try... try and dig over here. Alright, my mouse is gone now, so I don't know why my cursor was up and being active. It's driving me... Oh, because I went back and forth in the menu. That's why it did it. I'm going to zip through this, and then I will be back. I'm going to jump back in here right now because I want to tell the devs that I like this animation right here. If you can't do the movement, at least when it's in this position, you can see that I'm digging. It goes in the shovel, and I toss it. There, and it goes in there. And I have to tell myself, left, right, left, right. And the animation doesn't quite keep up with me. I throw it about the time it gets to the shovel. But, anyway, this part I like, right here. This animation isn't too bad. Whoa, I missed. There we go. Where are we at? We're at 66 and a half, 67. So, I'll finish this, and I'll be back. And that should be, or this should be, the last one. Dirty water, 100%. All right, we have our first full mats. Okay, I'm going to hit one to unhighlight my shovel. I'm going to click on the pipe with E. Ah, no more water running. Got quite the little burrow hole going here, and you can see it's goes down in there a ways. I wonder if you could actually dig a cave underneath this flat rock on the top. In real life, that's what you'd be doing. You'd be digging down. You want to find bedrock and then dig along bedrock because that's where your heaviest particles are the gold. You'll find gold, hematite, rub uh, garnets, not rubies, garnets, and what's something else? If I black sand. If you find any of those, then you're going to be finding gold. All right. Put an empty bucket right there. No water in it. And we want to go to the mat. And I generally look for the center. And we want to roll it up. Because that's what you would do inside the sluice box so you would not lose any gold. You roll it up. You pick it up. You take it to your bucket, and normally you'd wash it off in the bucket. 
but here all you have to do is click E and then you click E again to put it back in your pan. So roll it up, pick it up, dump it, put it back. Roll it up, pick it up, there we go. Dump it, put it back. Roll it up, pick it up, dump it, put it back. You got it, right? But I have to say it to myself because I'll mess up and I hit the wrong keys. See? Actually, I didn't hit the wrong key. I wasn't close enough to the sweet spot, so it didn't take it. And there we go. And we have one bucket of pay dirt. Now this is called concentrate. After all your dirt is run through your sluice box, what comes off your mats is called concentrate. And that's what's got the concentrated gold in it. All right, and I'm going to take a quick pause right here because I need to reload, and I will be right back.